Hello everybody, my name is Breed and last week I did a video on um, some autumn art and I went out to the woods and collected some wonderful colours and le of leaves and things like that. Um, so we used those to make some pictures. Uh, we cut them up and tore them up and made some wonderful pictures. So I also collected last week some of these guys, uh, conkers from the chestnut tree. So when you open them up they look a bit like this, I'm sure you've probably seen them. Um, they have the little nut inside and then the shell. So today I'm going to make some little woodland creatures using the nut and the shell. Um, so here I'm going to put the camera down to my little woodland box that I made and show you some of the creatures that we're going to make today. Um, firstly, we have some snails. Put the snail down here. Can you see him? We have a little green fella here as well. And then we have some owls. We have a couple here, they're called barn owls and there's other types of other varieties of owls as well that you could make, some long-eared and short-eared, you can look at them up. And also, if you can see, we here have we hedgehogs made from the shell, which um, make really good hedgehogs. And I have a big one and a little baby one as well down here. So first we might do the snail. What I used, or the things that I needed, were some of these, some of these conkers anyway, open ones and things like that. Um, also some, I used a little bit of Play-Doh uh, for the body and um, some paint as well, it was really good. Or also for this as well, I used a paint on his body and I used some pastels, some chalk pastels on him. So whatever you have, give it a go. So here's my little bit of Play-Doh, just to roll it up into a little, almost like a, a worm. And then what I did was kind of flatten his body down here. Um, I'm going to make uh, a, little, uh, a little baby snail, because I have two big ones here already. Now, and that's basically it. You can spend more time at it. Um, also, I want to just get a little bit for the little tentacles where they have their eyes. They have tentacles at the top and at the bottom. And the ones at the top have their little eyes on the end. So you could kind of Make little long shapes and just stick them on like that. Like that. Again, you can spend a little bit longer. And on the body, I'm going to just use pastels again. Just a little bit quicker, but you can use paint and spend lots of time making some wonderful lines and swirls and the things like this. Here's one I did earlier actually. Uh, with some swirls on it. These ones have some lines and paint and chalk. So we'll do some, some lines again. Snails, if you look at them, there's some amazing, amazing colors and shapes and different things on their, on their, on their body. And their little house. So there you go. So I'm going to put him in there with his little snail family. And then for the hedgehog here, I use the shell. And let's see one, I'll find one here. 
here's one without the without the seed inside and what I did was I got a bit of paint and paint is better for this one and put some white if you ever look at a hedgehog like just under the, under the spiky bit they're a little bit lighter in color maybe not maybe white is too white so there and just get a little bit of a dark color then to make little eyes and some of the little shells will make better hedgehogs so you have to try and pick a really good one just to make the hedgehog it's not very good Kind of made him. Here you go. Some little eyes. And here's the little baby one as well. Alright. You could do their little their little nose a dark colour as well. Yeah, put him in with the hedgehog family. And then for the owls, you know, as I have two here, I was just going to make a little baby owl. So another conquer. Uh, I'm just using a small one this time. Gonna color it in a little bit white and do some eyes. And again, you can uh, do a little, um, do a little looking around online and maybe see some different different types of owls. These are barn owls, so there's lots of lovely looking owl creatures so there we have it for now and uh, the next video is going to be some maybe sh more shady little characters uh seeing as it's halloween so <laughs>